Hi there, I'm, I'm Pete Sherman. I'm the director writer of IMTK and I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, uh, two good friends of uh, uh, liking this project um, and they're two kind of factions of society that are so core to the issue of the themes of the film. Well, I am J.T. Richardson, executive producer of the film IMTK. And I am Steven Sabell, associate producer and technical advisor for IMTK. And I'm also a police officer for the city of Colorado Springs. Well, Pete Sherman came to me and asked if I could be of assistance at first um, on a project about urban um, drug and or child abuse or domestic violence. And I read the script and found some good things in the script, some really good things in the script that I thought especially in the time that we're having right now, would be really good to the movie industry the, uh, to tell the tale of, uh, of, of male, black male strike right now. My life's really split in half between filmmaking and being a police officer, so when Pete hit me up and asked me to be a part of this project, I was extremely excited. I wanted to be able to offer my two cents on what I, as a police officer, experience every day on the job, and be able to tell that in a, in a cinematic way. So when he uh, handed me the scripts and I got to read it, right off the bat I said, well this nails it. This is it. This is what these people deal with on a daily basis. This is what we as police officers deal with on a daily basis. And it, it just nails it right on the head, that cycle of violence and what, it need, what we need to do to bring it to a stop and what the results can be if you're able to break it. Anyway, um... I'm not going to sit here and brag about my background, but it's substantial. I've done plenty of films. I know we can take this to some of the highest levels of film festivals and exposure because it's a, it's a topical um, issue. Tony Todd has signed on to be the lead character uh, in this project. And when Pete asked me if I could reach out to him uh, a few months ago, I thought, this would be the perfect project for him. And there's some, there's some things in this film that will bring out the core value of Tony Todd's uh, magnificence, and that is um, his, his tact for being intense. And being intense is what he's all about. And this film will bring a lot of that out. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Having Tony Todd uh, on board this project is an amazing honor. Honestly, it's, it wasn't his horror movies that, that pushed my buttons. I had seen him in a performance of Star Trek. It was Deep Space Nine, actually. He played, um, I think, an older version of uh, Captain Sisko's son, and he, he just did an incredible performance. It was warm and uh, passionate. We all know he's intense, but I'm, I'm really excited to see that part come out. Um, so I'm getting a little emotional that, that, he's, that he's involved in this, but it's a... It's a wonderful honor, and I think it'll be, bring just the right nuance that we need to the project. Oh, I'm extremely excited. I mean, some people will call me a millennial, so, you know, I grew up with some Candyman, Final Destination, all those movies. I've always grown up loving Tony Todd, so when I heard that he was coming on board, whew, got pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a um, horror movie. This is not a... Uh, uh, shocker though it'll have some shocking moments this is a drama and it's a drama about issues i think are very very important right now black men are being killed by black men every day and when we see black men being killed by black men every day you don't hear or see black lives matter as much as you see when a police officer kills a black man and the difference is what somebody's child was killed, period. We're taking a timeless look at what I believe are some of the roots of um, problems that we're seeing right now in our culture. And it's all about abuse and child abuse. And if you've seen my film, Conditional, you know that's an important subject to me and uh, something I had to deal with when I was younger. And I think this film will, lack of a better word, magnify the violence that is out there from a spectator's point of view, as far as police, the victims, the black man, 
the abuse. If you look at the writing and you look at the words and you look at the acting, I think you'll get the picture. So say no more. Um, hopefully what you see here on Indiegogo is intriguing to you. We need support. I'm, it's a given that you do these uh, crowdfunding uh, campaigns that I'm doing a lot. I'm doing one for A Voice for Little Olive, a, a documentary I'm doing now, but it's a necessary part of the process because these films are expensive to produce. Um, so thank you, look around, and um, we'll show you some material as soon as we have it ready.